Hey everybody. So I'm back and welcome to my channel. I'm Avid Hunter 3. I'm on Poshmark, YouTube, and Instagram. And I am a thrifter. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I've done haul videos from the bins and from regular thrift stores and resale shops. But this is a, a a haul in its entirety from the new thread up basement which is there's only one in the country and it's located near me it's about two hours from me in Pasadena Texas so I had been hearing about it on Instagram I mean it was blowing up everywhere all the Houston thrifters were talking about it but nobody else knew anything about it so I started researching it trying to figure out exactly what it was I was already a big fan of thread up because I buy their rescue boxes so I found out that yes, it was true. Yes, there was a location and it wasn't by the pound, but it's by the piece, but it's very cheap compared to what you would pay like for Goodwill prices. So when I went, unfortunately, there was an introductory price. Um, it was basically like a sale for their new opening. And Basically each day it would start out at one price and it would go down until it reached Friday when the prices would start over So it would end up like at 50 cents an item by the end of the seven-day period and then new items would be put out and They would turn everything over every seven days, but that was only an introductory price So now from what I understand the prices are going to be $2.99 all the time for clothing and Shoes will be $9.99 and purses will be $9.99 so unless it's really, really good shoes or really, really good purses, I don't really want to pay that much for it. But clothing, I would still pay $2.99 for some of the brands that you find at the bins all day long. I mean, you can't beat that compared to what the prices are at Goodwill. So on the day that I went, it was still the introductory prices, which it was $0.99 cents for clothing and shoes were $2.99. So the stuff I'm going to show you, I ended up with 75 pieces and I paid $100 total. It was like $100.20. So thankfully I went, I guess, at the right time. I mean, most likely everything had been pretty picked over. I know there was some really good stuff that had been picked out of there because I saw it on everybody's stories. But we decided to go give it a shot just because, I mean, it's it was just as easy to find as getting to the bins. So when we got there the location that it tells you on the address is it takes you to a door that is you go into what looks like an abandoned mall which is kind of scary and creepy it was old people on walkers and that was it so we finally walked all the way through the mall started seeing signs of a little bit of people so we're like okay good so we go and it's completely on the back side of where the address on there just fyi in case you decide to go it is not the location where if it's an abandoned parking lot that is not it and it it doesn't say thread up on the outside of the mall at all on the side that it tells you on the address so if you go to the one that is on the back side of the mall you'll see where it says thread up basement and that's where you need to go in at <coughs> excuse me so we go in and i didn't really know exactly what to expect i had been talking to a newfound Instagram friend about it that had been and she told me that it was very hard work that it was not just you go in and oh there's a whole bunch of good exciting stuff no you have to work for what you're gonna find so and that was absolutely the truth so when we got in there it it looks like just a department store and there's a central location where the cash register is and there's big bins that are probably I don't know three and a half feet tall by at least three and a half to four feet wide and they're just completely full of clothing all the way down to the bottom so they do have sides that it has these little latch things on the side and you push them in and the side will fold down which that's what me and my mom did and it made it easier and we flipped the side down and we would take a section put it on the floor because the floor is clean sort through everything and then move it to the table because the table gets full super quick. There's a long table right beside it that's like a sorting table. Um, but we did that. We probably went through maybe, we stayed like four hours, I think. And we went through probably six bins completely 
which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot of work. It really is. So, like I said, I paid $100. Well, when I got home, I sorted through everything, got it hung up. And just like when you go to the bins, if you've never been before, usually when you come home, you're going to find something that, uh-oh, I didn't see that. It had something missing off of it, or there's a big rip, or there's a stain, or whatever. Well, at Thread Up, one good thing about it is everything is already sorted. Really, there's not dirty things and torn things and stuff that needs to be chunked. That doesn't mean there's not. There, there can be, because I ended up with maybe two or three items, and it was just stuff that had a spot or something on it that I didn't feel like dealing with, and I don't like to sell things like that. I'm going to show you one of them, but the other two I've already chunked. So anyway, if you decide that you like that kind of stuff or you're interested in the basement or anything that you know you have questions about, just leave me a comment below and give me a like and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I can put out some more videos. Right now, just like I told you last week, I'm right in the middle of nursing school. So I have been balls to the wall all week long. I'm actually glad to be able to sit down and do this just so that I can get a break. And everybody's been asking me too, oh, where's the video? Okay, well, here it is. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. So we'll start with shoes. Um, so I ended up with one, two, three, four, five. I actually ended up with six pairs of shoes, but unfortunately my little mini uh, Schnauzer Snowy, he ate one and I didn't know it until I got ready to make this video. So that one went in the trash but everything else is here so i didn't buy very many because the shoes were really picked over and i don't know i just maybe i was overwhelmed or something because there was a whole lot of stuff everywhere in that store but i had i figure anyway that on the day that they put out the new items which i think she said is fridays that's probably when you want to go because all the really good stuff is going to be on the top of the bins and it's all new shoes and all new purses every week so, all right, so the first pair that I got was, they're just little wooden wedges. They're Sam Edelman, and they're in pretty good condition. They have like little tassels on the toes. They're a size eight, which is my size, so <laughs> it's a good size. Um, the next one is some little Cole Haan espadrille type wedges. I'm going to see if it'll focus in. Somebody told me to get close and put my hand behind it, which that's not going to work for this, but then it would focus. But anyway, see, they're Cole Haan, and they're, they're the ones that have the Nike Air on them. So these were all $2.99 a piece. I don't know what size these are. But anyway, they're in good condition. I just need to clean up the leather a little bit, and they'll be ready to go. But I mean, for $2.99, for $2 I can make money off of that. The next ones are... They're DV Dolce Vita, which this is not the expensive brand. This is the ones I believe that are sold at Target. So they're not as expensive. And I should have thought about that before I picked these up. But regardless, I kind of got them for style more than anything else because they have the studs on them like the rock studs do. And they're in really good condition. They're a size 7. Um, the next one is another pair of Sam Edelman. And these are driving shoes. Driving shoes really in any brand sell really well for some reason. I don't know because I don't wear these to drive with. But anyway, they have a little buckle on there. And they are a size 9. Alright, last pair of shoes. And you might not be familiar with this brand. I'm really not even sure exactly where they're sold. I do think they were sold at Anthropology some, but it's not an exclusive brand. But they're called Off the Beaten Trail, which is OTBT. Let me see if you can see. And they're just like little ballet looking flats with um, little leather straps across the top. They're in okay condition. I mean, they've been worn, you can definitely tell, but they're still cute and I should still be able to sell them pretty easily because I looked up the comps on them. Let me see, these are a size six and a half. All right, so that's all on those. Uh, most everything I have hung up either on pants hangers or regular hangers, but I did not have enough pants hangers yet, so some of them are folded towards the end. Some of these about, probably about maybe two-thirds is listed already, but not everything. I haven't had a chance to list it all. So some of it you may can go to my Poshmark and see it listed already, but some of it not. All right, so the first thing is a, it's a Banana Republic says made of Italian yarn. I don't know if you can see. 
and it's like a little military type sweater blazer it has a zipper closure and it has little silver threads throughout it i just thought that was cute usually anything that has military buttons sells pretty good all right so next is it's just a little stripe um, navy and white or gray and white cotton top and it has like a detachable metal collar and it's by let me see if i can show you griffin new york um the costs are pretty good on it um it's not a super well-known brand but um it was expensive to begin with and the zipper on the back is exposed so when it's like that and you can see it like that that's called an exposed zipper which most of you probably know that but uh, a lot of these videos are for people the whole reason i started doing this was because many 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 people i've been a seller for years and everybody keeps saying can you please tell us how to sell on poshmark and can you tell us what you how you know what to buy and so here you go all right so next is super cute it's a banana republic chambray dress and it's the one that has like the little button where you can roll up the sleeves and it is a size 10 and it's just like a little t-shirt dress all right the next one is inc which is for international concepts i like that one it has a little leather um, tab and it's got fringe so it's almost like a wrap style but it is a size small and that's really not a super expensive thing to resell, but I just thought it was cute because of the fringe. All right, the next one is Tracy Reese, which is sold at Anthropology. I don't know, I couldn't find this one as an exclusive, I'm not sure, but it's cute regardless. It's just a little um, linen blend striped dress. See, and you can see there's an exposed zipper all the way down the front. This one is called Frock by Tracy Reese. And it is a size six. All right, so next is another dress. It kind of reminds me like of a Indian type dress. Like my friends from work, um, a lot of them are from India and this looks like their kind of thing. So there's like a little satin sash and this is embroidered here. And it is by Catherine Malandrino, size eight. Sorry. All right, so next is a little cute embroidered linen top. There wasn't a bunch of these listed on Posh, but they're expensive when you buy them new, but I guess it's just not a well-known brand around here. But the brand is called Jules Reed. I don't know if you can see. I just thought it was cute. It's, it'll be good for the spring. All right, so next is, this one is a Airy Plus Alley. This is Anthropology. This is a white cotton top with lace. What makes it really, really cute is, it has long Victorian type sleeves. See, and there's buttons all the way down. That would be cute for festival season. And this one is a size large. All right, so next one is from Revolve. It's line and dot. It's a little cropped sweater. It's like in a tan or wheat type color, and it is a size small. Next one is something you wanna watch for. I think I told y'all this in one of the other videos, but it's, it has a really high resale value. So this is Ralph Lauren, and it is a size medium but it's black label and that's one of the higher lines. It's 100% cashmere and it's cable knit. So it's in good condition too. And this one is a size medium. All right, this one is a Victoria's Secret swimsuit cover with like little tassels at the bottom. It's all crocheted. It's like an off-white color, size small. And I'm sure the retail on that is not super expensive, but it should sell pretty good. It's fixing to be that season. So this one is Anthropology. This is little yellow button. Um, it has like a little um, chevron ruffle right here. 
and then in the back has a little elastic thing that makes it a little bit more fitted and this one is a size large all right so for people who don't know this i'm going to give you a quick lesson because a lot of people ask this how do you know if it's anthropology okay so anthropology has there are several brands under it so there's urban outfitters there's anthropology and there's free people and any so when you see this number on clothing then it could be any of those three things so don't just automatically assume that it's anthropology but regardless you know that it's one of the three and still those three are better than walmart so and the number on this it'll say rn which is let's see if it'll show it's six six one seven zero so that's what you want to look for and once you know that it is one of those things it's not i mean you can post online on different discussion boards and if you don't know what the like what the style name is you can post on there and say hey does anybody know who what style this is and they can tell you exactly what the style is and then you'll be able to find a stock picture which makes it a lot easier for listing all right so this one is a little black ruffle silk top the brand name i've never heard of but it's expensive and it's called 12th street by cynthia vincent so i don't know the size it's either a small or a medium but it's in good condition all right this one it's not really my style but what is my style is money so it is it says beneath made in italy beneath so this is that united colors of beneath however you say it anyway it's probably about a size four i couldn't find a size on it all right next is a silk j crew pop over top and it's a size two in good condition this one is anthropology so this is another sub brand this is called Faye, and it's a medium i think this is an older style because of the way the tag looks but it's super cute you know what i didn't even when i listed this i did not show the back of it and look how cute that is it has buttons down the back so i'm gonna have to retake my picture because that's that's actually really cute all right so this one is j crew again i always buy j crew because i always sell it that's why um so this one is j crew factory as you can tell by the little dots on there the diamonds for pretty much any brand means it's a factory one they still sell just as good though size 12 and it's just a little t-shirt type dress in navy and white. Next one is Cabby. And it is a little crocheted cardigan. And it's an extra small. Cabby's not really, it's more for older women, I guess. But it sells good. All right, here's another tee. So this one's Michael Jackson. This is from his Thriller days. Um, it's actually from... Triumph, which has its own brand, and it's a size medium and it's cropped. All right, next is Athleta, and it's a little tank top, and it's a size small. Cute. It's like the gradient from white to orange, orange is pink basically. All right, next is. This is Band of Gypsies, and this is a little corset top, which is going to be in this season. And this one is an extra small. Next is Cabbie again, and military buttons again, as you can tell. It's got like little ribbon detail here. This one is a size small. All right, next is Theory which is like a little skater type dress, waffle weave print, and it is a size six. And if you didn't know, Theory is super expensive, so pick it up if you see it. This one is from Anthro, which I didn't know until I looked it up, but I figured it was just by the style of it. It's Cecilia Prado, and it's just this little like um, sweater type cardigan, kind of like a Southwestern style. Oh, 
Okay, this is made well. Tweed and black. And it is a size two, but as you can tell, this looks big. And when I looked up the pictures on it, it's it's called drapey, the drapey dress or something like that. You can tell. So it's definitely not fitted by any means. Okay, so this one I could not find, but it looks kind of like Lululemon, but it's not. It's just, but it has, it's good quality like that. It's called, I guess it's like Mountain Beauty or something. It's, see, it's got these little mountain peaks and it says beauty and it looks just like the same kind of style that lululemon has i haven't found it yet so i haven't listed it yet all right so this one is we the free which is a division a division of free people it's just a little rugged ragged uh top like a little tank top and it says it's an extra small so as you can tell that means it's uh oversized and this one is really cute. This is a Victoria's Secret. It's just Victoria's Secret, not pink. But it's a little um, bikini top. And it has like little black and white uh, diamonds at the bottom. Isn't that cute? I thought that was really cute. I tried to give it to my daughter, but she didn't like it. And it is a size small upside down <laughs> all right so this one is banana republic just a little plain cardigan little silver buttons and it is a size small so this is j crew this is like a little flutter sleeve top top it's tank but it's got the little flutter sleeves it's just Flutter means it just flutters in the wind. Just little stripes, and this is, I'm sure, is silk, and this is a small from J. Crew. All right, anthropology again. This one is Deletta. It's just like a little tunic top, has a little crochet detail all the way down the sleeve, and it is a size small. This one is halogen. I don't normally pick this up, but it does have, I mean, it has a high retail. I just don't know on the resale value, though. But it's just a little blue um, dress with ruffle sleeves. And on the back has like a grosgrain ribbon tie that's like in a dark coral color. This one is halogen size one. So this one is a plus size. Okay, this one is J. Crew again, size 10. It's all silk, it's floral, it's tank, and it's got like a little rickrack looking design at the top. It's got a little tie in the back, and it is a size 10. This one is Free People, and it's an oversized raggedy sweater. It's striped peach with brown and just ragged edges all over. And it is a size, oversized small, if you can tell. This one is Top Shop. It's a little crop top. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. And it is a size eight. And it's black and white with like little net design. This one is Vince, and it's all silk. Just a little black, <clears throat> like, I guess, career wear top. And it's a size medium. All right, anthropology again. This one is lace. It's a tunic top. It's got, like, little raggedy details at the right there. And it has three-quarter length sleeve, which I don't care for. But it's meadow rue, and it's a size medium. All right, this one is one of the good ones that we dug out of the bottom. I think my mom found this. She's pretty good at finding that stuff. So this one, it's either a tunic top or it's some kind of a see-through dress. I think it's a top, though. Anyway, if you can see, it is All Saints, 100% silk, and it's a size 6 U.S. 
Next is Vince again. And it's just a little lavender crop top, all cotton. And it is a size medium. <clears throat> all right, this one is Garnet Hill, which I've never actually sold before, but I see that it has pretty good resale value, so I decided to try it. So it's floral. It's got little blue and peach flowers on it. It's just a little button-down shirt, and it is a size 2. Right, so this one is Anthropology again. And as you can tell, back this is the back. So this one here is the front. This is the back. So the buttons go down the back. The reason I know is because there's the tag, which is postmark. And it is a size small and it has owls on it anything anthropology that has critters of any kind pick it up it usually always has a good resale on it this is cashmere the brand is Kenross which I've never sold before and I need to sweat or shave it and clean it up a little bit but it's hundred percent cashmere and it's a size medium which sweater season is almost over, I guess, or in Texas it is anyway, but I'll still pick them up anyway for that price. J. Crew, and this one is a cashmere blend. It's 70% wool, 30% cashmere, and it's a size medium. All right, this one is J. Crew. It's called Rumpled French Terry, so what a name. Anyway, it's like a little gray cardigan and it is an extra large. This one is Rachel Zoe, which I thought was cute. It's a little peplum top, um, has buttons here. It's new with tags, regular price was $195, and it is a size four. All right, this is the one I was gonna show you that turned out to not be great because it had a flaw that we didn't see. So this one is also All Saints, which is great. It's silk, all silk, but in the back, which I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, you can kind of see through it right there. The, like the seam right there is stretched out. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. If I'm gonna throw it away or see if my mom could mess with it or sell it as is, I'm not sure. This one I got for my son, but it was in the hall. So it's a Vans button down tee, like little chambray type shirt. All right, this one, I can't show you the whole thing because it's too long, but it's a blue and green Lily Pulitzer dress, and it is a size small. It's a maxi dress. Okay, so the next ones are all either pants or shorts. Okay, so these are rich and skinny, which is what everybody wants to be, little leggings or jeggings. And I don't know if it tells the size on these. No, I don't know what the size is, but anyway, they're cute, they're purple. And rich and skinny are expensive. All right, so here's Lucky Brand jeans. They're just straight leg jeans, which might not be a good choice, but I figured they're a size two. And I figure, I mean, for 99 cents, you surely you can make money off that. This is vintage, I like vintage sometimes. Um, this is Ralph Lauren, and it is a white cotton um, pencil skirt. It has these little blue things on it, kind of like it reminds me of playing cards. But on the back, it has a tie, <coughs> and it's a size 2. <coughs> All right, here is Levi's. They're like an off-white color, size 28 button fly and I'm not sure maybe these came from free people or something see they have because I know that they do that a lot anyway this is their ragged edges and they don't have like a style number on the back which usually it'll say like 501s or whatever but they don't say that so I'm pretty sure they're a new repair this was a new to me brand which is finders keepers and it's a size small and it's just a little white skirt Uh, this one is 100% black buttery soft leather 
It's a skirt and it is by Wilson's Leather. It is a size six. Next is, hold on, sorry. It's Free People. These are super cute. They're like from the Intimately Free. I thought they were cute. They have little lace on the bottoms of them. They're a size extra small. All right, here's another pair. I got these out of the same bin. This is Levi's again. And they also don't have like the style number on the tag. So I really think these might be a collaboration with somebody and they're already distressed. They're white, um, cropped, 7-Eleven skinny is what they say. So if anybody knows, y'all let me know. Okay, so this one is another Free People. It's a little black corduroy skirt. And I'm not sure what size it is. It says 28 long. Well, there's no way that's true because it's a skirt. Who knows? Anyway, it's cute. All right, this one is J. Crew. It's a pencil skirt. It's like the number two pencil skirt, I think. And it's green and white tweed. And it is a size two. Okay, I'm going to try to rush through these last ones just because I don't want this to be super long. So, these are just Lucky Brand jeans. They're a size 12 and they're called Sweet Straight. Okay, these I got because I just remember them being a thing. They're not my thing, but I do remember that they have a pretty good resale. They're from Wranglers and they're called the No Gap Waistband and they're called Q-Baby. And these are a size eight by 34 length. Okay, so these are from Urban Outfitters BDG. They're just little distressed denim shorts. And they're a size 28. Okay, so this is Lucky, Lucky Jeans again. These are flares, and they are a size six, and they're called the Charlie Flare. Right, these are J. Crew size zero, and they're like tan and hot pink, just little shorts. Cute. All right, so this is kind of like lingerie, I guess, but it was new with tags. It's Victoria's Secret. Little black silk shorts with a little tie in the front. Size extra small. All right, these I don't know what the style name is or anything. I just bought them because they're Athleta, but they're like little tights. They kind of remind me of the Nike Pros or they have like the little thing to, so you don't get run over when you're out running size small and then I bought some more these are Nikes and they say Belmont I'm not sure what it what the Belmont means if it's a place or if it's a school or what they look like. okay just two more things this one is Matilda Jane which every haul I seem like I have Matilda Jane but it sells really well and this is some of the ruffle pants and they are a size small. Last thing is a Victoria's Secret bra, which I don't normally do, but it looks like it's brand new and it's called the Plunge and it is a size 32D. So that's everything. Um, as you can tell, I still have a whole lot of stuff I have to work on. I have to list. Oh, this, this came from there too. This is a friend's Central Perk tee. I like to buy that kind of stuff so that I can wear that to go junkin'. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye!